Chris Hardwick. You're with Andy Cohen. Chris Hardwick. Larry King. Joel McHale. I'm tapping the minds of some of the greatest late night talk show hosts currently <laughs> to find out what they think about and have advice on in terms of hosting late night talk shows. Thank you for being Grace here. Grace big. Congrats so, on the show. So let's say an interview isn't going well and it, you can feel tension and awkwardness. Yes. Do you have like a go-to thing that you use? Usually what I do is start to sweat. You uh, poop in your hand <laughs> and go, look what I made. Then people focus on how much you're sweating and then they don't focus on, <laughs> on, the, like, on how bad the interview is because that'll make them forget everything that happened up to that point and it allows you to reset the interview. It's not brain surgery. Yeah. Right? Thank God. You're doing the best you can do. Mm -hmm. They tell you all this at hosting school. Which I, I, I'm doing night courses, so yeah. it's very abbreviated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they skipped over the hand shitting chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you deal with an over talker? Ugh, I, you have to interrupt, and you just really? keep interrupting. It's like a river of words, and you throw a stick in. <laughs> yes. You interrupt. Oh, yeah. Because your audience counts. That's you also know. what Andy Cohen told me as well. Well, that's two Jews giving you advice. <laughs> if someone's talking too much, Fucking great. You just sit back and just and just let it happen. That's why you're on this video. This is happening right now. Am I talking too much right now? I feel like I'm continuing to talk. More words are coming up. Do you get fan mail? No. <laughs> One of my crutches is I just go to the phones a lot. I'm like, oh my god, we have another phone call. Is there any other ungettable get, some kind of celebrity or person that you would love to have on the show that you haven't had yet? Well, uh, we've been working on the first lady for a couple of years. We would really like her. I would like yeah. the first lady of my life, who's Madonna. Oh. I would like her. Can you so, imagine if you had both of them on the same Oh my time? god, that would be amazing. TV would explode. I would freak out. Well, it'd be great if we could get Taylor Swift and Katy Perry and Justin Bieber, <laughs> Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, Kanye West, Jay-Z and Beyonce, if they could all come on the show once, that would really help ratings. Three words, Bill fucking Murray. Bill Murray has an 800 number, and I've never called it because I've rehearsed it in my head. Bill, hi, it's Chris Hardwick. I'm on tell. No, that's dumb. Hello, Bill, this is Chris. I'm doing a podcast. That doesn't sound right. Hey, Bill Murray, I'm not gonna murder you. Like, I don't know how to start the message. What is something you've learned in all of your years of interviewing people that you shouldn't worry about? The only thing I know Okay. is I don't know. You know that's my catchphrase. Basically, the secret of my success uh -huh. is being dumb. <laughs> The best advice anyone ever said, when you walk away from a show, it's never as great as you thought that it was, okay. and it's never as horrible as you thought. I feel like I've lived my whole life really validated by a solid medium right. performance. <laughs> Have you learned one thing that you should be worried about? You know, there's no words in here. It's just drawings of dicks. Well, Joel, thank you for being here. Well, thank you, Andy, so much Thanks. for your advice. Good luck. You have beautiful it. brown eyes. Wow, this took a turn. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Take the turn. <laughs> just page after page. This one just says to do, and then just like a bunch of dicks with check boxes by them. Make sure you check out the soup. If you want to, you don't have to. Yeah, you do. Thank you for this invaluable advice. Thanks, Good guys. luck with your show. Hope it's a big hit. See you guys. Bye.